We saw two rookie corners make headlines last year. Tariq Woolen and Sauce Gardner both made the Pro Bowl and one ended up winning Rookie Defensive Player of the Year. What would qualify as a good year for number five pick Devin Witherspoon? Who are the best two rookie corners we've seen in Seattle over the past 10, 12 years? Uh, Tariq. And Tariq. then I guess you could count Sherm. Gotta go Sherm. Yeah. Right? So Sherm Did is he uh, start rookie season? Second year? I think eventually he started his rookie season. Okay. Yeah. So his, his first year, he had four interceptions, 17 passes defended. Well, in his first year, he had six interceptions, 16 passes defended. I'm not going to put pressure on Devin Witherspoon and say, you got to hover around those numbers. What he needs to do is cause a couple of turnovers, whether that be interceptions or forced fumbles or whatnot. He just needs to be the guy that we've seen on film. And we watch him on film. He has good ball skills. He's great on special teams, but he's an a player that relies on his instinct and his film study. So his rookie year might not look like a Richard Sherman with four picks and 17 passes defended, or Tariq Willen, six interceptions, 16 passes defended. It might be one or two interceptions. It might be 10 to 12 passes defended, but it might be three forced fumbles. It might be great open field tackling. It might be um, him making a play on special teams. I think he has the ability to contribute more overall than these two players when I talk about Sherman and Willem because he's a different type of player. He's a player who can thrive on special teams. Now, I don't know how much special teams he's going to play, especially mm -hmm. if he's a starter, but during preseason, and if he starts off slowly and they have somebody in front of him, special teams is where he'll make his mark. I'm feeling Devin. Let's go.